I'm gonna propose a question. How weird would it be if you walked into your local woodland and found trees with faces on them? Because that more or less sums up what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Trees with faces faces on them not actual actual faces just faces carved into the trees which begs the question what do they mean which is a question best left until after we've actually taken a look at these trees so you'll find these trees to the west of strawberry right by lake oangela or however you pronounce that they shouldn't be stupidly hard to find, so let's just head to this location. The area is known for its ritual sacrifices and things, so don't worry, you'll be fine. Anyways, let's quickly dash over to where these faces are. Ah, oh, for fuck shit, fuck. Once you arrive, you'll notice a circle of these trees with faces on them. Each face is unique. Now, you can inspect these trees, and your journal will read... Found these faces out in Big Valley. Wonder what they meant. Now, I'd imagine that if they had a decipherable meaning, they would have been jotted down individually. Which leads me to believe that whatever meaning these faces did have, it's long expired. Now, remember how I said each face was individually designed? Well, one in particular caught my eye. Now, this one doesn't exactly remind me of the face of a man, especially not with that nose and the emphasis on its hair, which makes me think that this is more based on an ape or a gorilla. Is this particular carving a carving of Bigfoot? I'm not saying that it is, but I'm saying that's what it looks like. And if this is a carving of a Sasquatch face, then what do the other carvings mean? Some are very human in look, others not so much. Are these representations of sentient cultures? Like, mostly human, then put a Sasquatch on top. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but it would seem as if not every single carving is done in the exact same art style. Which means that they were likely carved by different people. <laughs> this one looks like anorexic Thanos. And then there's the near-perfect circle that the trees find themselves in. The trees outline a circular clearing. Could it be a landing spot for a UFO, maybe? Now, I wouldn't say the trees make the clearing perfectly clear from the sky down, but there is enough room for a small flying saucer to land. Of course, I'm speaking possibly. But that's just a super far-fetched theory with no evidence to back it, so please take it with a pinch of salt. Then there's the possibility that this site could have significance to Native Americans. What it would be, I have no idea. Though I did do a bit of googling and found some tree carvings that look uncannily similar. Turns out it comes from the belief that spirits inhabit the trees, either being there from the birth of the tree if you will, or being the spirits of ancestors. And these carvings were used to bring good luck to whoever passed it. Though this culture isn't necessarily specific to Native Americans, but I would say they are tree spirit carvings. So yeah, I reckon that's probably what's going on with these faces in these trees. Why there's five in one place is a big question. I don't think it undermines the tree spirit theory. But anyways, you're going to have to let me know what you think down in the comments section. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. I would really appreciate it. We're getting super close to 100,000 subscribers now, so I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. If you were new, that would be amazing. And I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.